Hey everybody, on Sunday morning my brother and I took a drive up to the middle of Pennsylvania to a little town called New Rye, or Newry, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but there is a flea market there called Leite's Flea Market and it is year-round. During the summer and fall months, it is outdoors on the right uh, as I'm driving down the road right now. I actually went to it a couple months ago and got that 2018 Topps Chrome box filled with lots of good cards for 30 bucks. In the winter months, it's on the left, and you can see it is, I'm going to take a left right over here, and it is inside this Farmer's Market greenhouse, and it is pretty awesome for baseball cards. It's pretty big in here. Some cards already over there. Top table. Pretty packed in here. Not really, it's all kind of like older stuff. I saw that guy here a couple months ago when I was up there, he had the same stuff, but it's like, he wanted like 10 or 15 for that 90 top of it, so it's a 68 top card, is it a read the interest group battle? It's all commons, football commons. It's literally all cards from like 90, 91. I know, super more. Some more cards. ADA tops. Basketball. Ninety one. Stupid nineteen ninety two up for death. Yep, that's okay. I'm used to that. Very boring. There's some fun pack cards in there. This table's busy. Guys picking through. Feel like swarming around right now. Right Football. I feel like these are probably ten cents each. Really? Yeah, if they are, I might be able to find some. There's nickel piece, that box 10 cents a piece. Nickel, nickel ten. Ten. <laughs> What about this box? Uh, that's one of the prices. Not, not that much. Nickel piece? That's pretty good. Yeah, that'd be good there. There's a couple good rookies so far. Yeah. I hope he starts catching the ball. Yeah. I think it has potential. I hope we don't get rid of him. Oh, I hope not. That's going to help us out a lot. Yeah, he out. Oh, hell. He's up for good. Maybe seven sport flicks set to five. Some are like. Look at that. That's Gibson's rookie, 81. 50 cents. 
I don't think that's Cedar's rookie. Someone just sent me his rookie card. No, that was his rookie. Is that one that Dollars. That's right. Isn't that a book for like eight? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think it's pretty much. There's probably some decent ones in there. Auto cards, 50 cents each. How much are the sleeves, Gary? I'll show you. Fifty cents. Fifty cents for sleeves is a good deal. That's a deal. That is a deal. Fifty cents for sleeves. I don't like this BCW one too. Ah, uh, is that what they are? They're yeah, on Ultra Pro? They're on Ultra Pro. This is the best. Oh, yeah. Eighty-nine. How much is the uh, baseball? Uh, about a piece. Buck. Wrigley Field's a dollar. Okay. What about that Matt Williams um, starting lineup? Dollar. Dollar. Okay. They got pretty good price. I feel like this Wrigley Field replica is pretty good. I think I'm ready to cash out. Figure this out here. Um, okay. I got a backpack too to throw this stuff in, but um, it's at a dollar for each Three, of those. Yeah. And got these two sets. Three six. Okay. Four okay. Ten. And then I got you said eleven, cents. twelve, thirteen. Yeah. There's my home. I had one a while ago. And there's there's a fifty cents. Yeah. There's um three there. Right. Okay. Right. Two fifty there. Right. Two fifty. Oh, we have four. Seventeen fifty. Seventeen fifty. And then I got these singles. You have them. Okay. Uh, you want to throw in one of those sets for to make it twenty? Yeah. One of them. Yeah, I'll take that one. Alright. Yeah. You're giving them away. Alan Woods. Give me the Beckett for free. Yeah, sorry. That's pretty good, all that stuff for 20. He tossed in that uh, 1990 sealed Bowman set for like 250. People just leave their stuff in here all winter. Just cover it up because I see tarps underneath. How much are the boxes? Uh, five bucks. Hey, five nice. bucks a piece? Yeah. So they're, they're my grandfather's. The, the one is a bunch of Nolan Ryan, but it's not a whole set. And the other one is uh, 73, you know, mixed, yeah. just mixed cards. Don't even know what's in there. Is anything good or not, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to, you think I should get the score or? Probably, yeah, I'll try the 73. I'll try the 73s. Thank you. Oh, fire, yeah. Yeah. In a box of like 800 1973 commons is 
probably worth at least 20 bucks. They look like they're in pretty good shape. He said there's probably some Nolan Ryan's in there. I think that card books for probably like 50 bucks from that year. Probably sell for like 10 to 15 um, depending on the condition. Old baseball. Don Mattingly. Soft strike. Yeah, it's just a printed one. <laughs> Starting lineups. How much these are? Yeah, I hate that. Mickey Mantle. I don't know how much these are. How much are the figurines? I got them on four dollars, but I'm going to let them all go now for two dollars. Two dollars. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't see him in here anymore. See the whole box for fifteen. You got nine of them in there. You mean left? Yeah, this what. You got nine left. Would you do the whole box for fifteen bucks? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Sense each. Oh, budget. Okay, okay. I'll try to make sure Chris gets Okay, very good. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. David Johnson, who's the manager. Is that his rookie? I don't know. 68. Nah, Probably give like 10 for that box, maybe. <laughs> Trivial Pursuit for a buck DVD edition. I don't know what that's worth. Huh. It's a good buy. Yeah, I know. I feel like you could probably sell it for twenty on eBay. Yeah. Milwaukee Braves. Six bucks. Back section, you know, come back. Mark of wire truck for three. One of those are like 50 cents each. Yeah. Peter Bankman. I used to have that when I sold it. What'd you sell for? I got like 24, 25. I would, I'd like to actually buy from my collection those. You should buy it. Yeah. Contra. I think that Contra game sells for like 30 bucks on eBay. Contra. Uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, select, start. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's like 40 on eBay. Yeah. 
Pretty good. Oh, okay. I already have a toolbox. Thank you. Car for three grand. That in auction for like five bucks if that. <laughs> okay, everybody, back from the flea market. It's time for the recap. We'll start with the stuff I paid zero dollars for. The one baseball vendor was giving away old Beckett's, which of course I would not turn that down. There's a 1997 Tina Martinez Beckett. Um, there also is a Tony Gwynn Beckett from '97. A Juan Gonzalez Beckett from 1998, and I think that is it. Um, I'm going to wait a second and open this one last. This is the 1973 Tops box that um, I bought for 5 bucks, and I'm really interested to see if there's any stars in there, so I'll put that aside. We'll do that one last. That has the potential to be pretty big. Uh, also, I picked up for 3 bucks. This was from the one seller where I spent 20 bucks and got a whole bunch of different things. The 1987 Fleer update set with Greg Maddox rookie card in it. Also from that seller, I picked up this Brooks Robinson limited edition baseball for a buck. Actually, I picked up two of those baseballs for a buck a piece. He also sold me this, and it's pretty heavy. It is a Wrigley Field replica this was Wrigley Field before the renovations, I do believe. I don't see the scoreboard out there, but pretty awesome to have this. You can see right there, it says Wrigley Field Gold Series Baseball Limited Edition for a buck. I thought that was a steal. I mean, sometimes these sell for like 30 bucks on eBay, so I was going to pick that up for sure. Also, he had a really good deal on penny sleeves. These were 50 cents a pack, so I bought a bunch of those. He tossed in this 1990 Bowman set at the end for only $2.50. The total was $17.50, and I was like, do you want to throw in one of those sets and just make it 20 And he said, yeah. Uh, also picked up the 1987 Sport Flix set. Never really had too many Sport Flix cards. Let me see if I can crack this open and show you the inside of it. Over here, I think those are all like the little tiny mini cards that come in there. And then Sport Flicks, of course. Um, the cards, you know, they change when you flip them. Never had too many of those, but the whole set for five bucks, I definitely was going to jump on that. Also, I picked up for one dollar this Matt Williams Stadium Stars starting lineup. He is featured on top of Candlestick Park. Usually these are a lot more than a dollar, usually around four or more dollars, depending on who it is. And uh, that was a good deal, I thought. What else do we have in here? Another penny sleeve. All right, we also have some singles, which I'll go through really quickly here. I didn't get too many singles, but let me just uh, show you. These were five cents a piece. A Raul Mondesi rookie card. Uh, JT Areo Muto gold cup card. I mean, five cents a piece. Of course, I'm going to pick some of these up. Archie Bradley rookie card. And then we have a Jose Abreu 2015 cup card. And then a, two more. 
We have Lance McCullers, rookie, and Vince Velasquez, rookie. Those were all five cents. Actually, I might be missing. I bought some more cards, and I think I might have left them out in my car, the older vintage ones that I picked up. Oh, well. Next up, we have that box of starting lineups. As you saw, I paid $15 for the entire box. There was nine of them, so roughly, I don't know, about a buck fifty a piece or so. And the first uh, starting lineup we have is two Hall of Famers here, Billy Williams and Ernie Banks. Pretty cool for a buck fifty. And then uh, Willie McCovey and Willie Mays. Um, he had said all the good players were already taken, but apparently um, he was just referring to Pirates. There's a little bit of dirt on here, which I could clean up and just make it look really nice. Mickey Mantle and Joe DiMaggio. Again, a little bit of dirt. I'll just have to clean that up. I wonder how much that sells for. I feel like that might go for like 20 bucks. And then if you're a Reds fan, you'll know a Johnny Bench. And also there's Pete Rose, Charlie Hustle. That's pretty cool if you like the Reds. And then we have another Ernie Banks and Billy Williams, so two of those. Also, maybe the two greatest Yankees of all time, arguably, we have Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. And there's their cards right there. I wonder what year these are from, anyway. There's the back of them. This is from 1990. I see copyright 1990. And then we have another Johnny Bench and Pete Rose. And another Johnny Bench and Pete Rose. So three of those. And then we finish it off with Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. All right. There was some singles I bought for 50 cents each. I left those out in my car. Um, they were from the 70s and 80s. Not too many, though. I think I only got like five or six of them. Left them in my backpack. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you the 1973 box. Let's break that open and see if there's any really, really good cards in there. He did mention something about a Nolan Ryan, I thought. So let's see if there's a Ryan in there. All right, 1973 mix. Approximately 800 cards from 1973 for a mere five bucks. You can see the corners aren't too terrible. Looks like we have a separator in here. This is actually my first time going through these. I didn't want to take the time to go through them and... Uh, Maybe um, the guy changed his mind or whatever. So without further ado, I don't think I'm going to broadcast the entire search, but we have a Hall of Famer on the top with a Sparky Henderson. Tony Perez, like four cards in. So, wow, it's in pretty good shape too. So he really did leave a lot of decent players in here. That's another Hall of Famer, Tim McCarver. Doubles there. It did say mix, so this might be a mixed lot. I'm Ho Yogi Berra. Joe Morgan. Wow, this already after like 20 cards, it was already worth it. I could probably just like take out all the best ones. And who knows? This box, if there's a couple Nolan Ryans in here, Billy Williams Hall of Famer. This box might be worth over a hundred dollars. Earl Weaver is a Hall of Famer. Bobby Valentine. Everyone knows Bobby Valentine used to manage the Mets and was busted for sneaking back into the dugout after being ejected and wearing a mustache. Okay, still no Nolan Ryan, but I have been noticing that the cards are in sequential order, as you see there. So I don't know what number Ryan is in the set. But we could get a surprise pretty soon. And or any oh, another Tony Perez. That's our second Tony Perez in really awesome condition. Wouldn't it be a ten, but maybe like eh, probably like a five or six. The one corner is a little bit soft on it. Tommy John and some more Yogi Berra manager cards. So we got three Yogi Berras in this. 1973 tops box so far after his hall of fame career there's jim catfish hunter everyone should be familiar with him hall of fame pitcher another joe morgan is that is that our second or third joe morgan that is pretty nice carlton fisk gold cup card all right that is pretty nice. That's uh, Carlton Fisk's first ever solo card. In 1972 Tops, he is featured with two other um, prospects. So that is really nice. Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer, and known for waving that home run 
fair in the playoffs long ago. Fergie Jenkins is a Hall of Famer. Frank Robinson. Oh, wow. There's three of them. I bought this card at a flea market maybe like four months ago for I think like 250 or something like that. I think I got two cards for five bucks. Wow. This is in, these are in nice condition. Like there's no creases or anything. You can see there when I go like that. You can see there's no creases at all when the light reflects off of them there. Um, wow. Frank Robinson, Hall of Famer. One of the best hitters. I like that card a lot. There's a Goose Gossage. Goose. That's a Goose Gossage rookie card, it looks like. You can usually tell because when you look on the back, you can see he only had one year of service time for the White Sox there. The rest are minor league teams. A Goose Gossage rookie card, really. This box is amazing. Uh, Bobby Bonds. There's Barry's dad. Thurman Munson. Thurman Munson, of course, died in a plane crash, unfortunately. Pretty tragic. This looks like it might have been his third year card. Former Yankees great catcher, Lou Pinella. A couple Lou Pinella cards. Pete Rose. Wow. And I don't have any of these cards because my collection is pretty void of 70s cards since I was born in 1980 and didn't start really collecting in earnest until 1989. Pete Rose, that is a nice looking card. Love it. Still have yet to find the... Oh, Hank Aaron! Wow! I was just about to say, I've yet to find a Nolan Ryan and this pops up. Hank Aaron, I remember seeing this card all the time when I was a kid and it would always be like, I don't know, like 50 to 100 bucks and I never bought it, but wow, that is a nice card. Hank Aaron playing some first base there later on in his career. Um, of course, Aaron hit 755 home runs at this stage of his career. He was at 673. Had a few more years left. Wow, that is awesome. Steve Blass is an announcer for the Pirates. Maybe, even if the Nolan Ryan isn't in here, Brooks Robinson, another Hall of Famer known for his amazing fielding capabilities. Raleigh Fingers, Hall of Famer. Got the mustache going. Not quite as uh, curly as he's known for having it. There's a Nolan Ryan. So we do get a Nolan Ryan. It's not the main card. It's not the solo card that I was hoping for, but it is a leader's card. These cards are usually worth about half as much as the uh, regular Nolan Ryan would be worth. But you can see he led the league with 329 strikeouts back in 1972, the Ryan Express. On Sutton. Tom Hall. And only about two cards left. And that is it. That was well worth it, guys. I feel like this entire box is probably worth at least $100, if not more, especially with all those decent Hall of Famers in there, Pete Rose, Hank Aaron, Frank Robinson, so on and so forth. Let me know how you think I did at the flea market. I think that I did really good. Um, got lots of great deals. That flea market is awesome. When I did a video about that flea market before, the outdoor version, I said it was the best flea market in Pennsylvania, and I still believe that because there's tons of cards there, lots of deals to be had, great, nice people there and everything. Go and check it out if you have a chance, and uh, buy baseball cards and tell them to keep on bringing the baseball cards, and we will keep on buying them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you later. As a lot of you know, I sell a lot of things on eBay, mostly baseball related, but I am also selling gift cards for a limited amount of time. I would buy these gift cards at a store called Giant Eagle and sell them for at costs, uh, which is whatever the gift card costs plus fees. So I would be making zero dollars from it. The reason I am selling these is because every time I buy a gift card at this store, I get 10 cents fuel perks. So if enough people buy gift cards, then I'm going to get a bunch of free gas where I can travel all around to different antique stores, baseball card shops. I can go to different states and do a lot more traveling to bring you more videos. So I'm going to put the link down in the description for you. And I realize you're going to have to pay a little bit more than it's worth because of the fees. So to make that up to you, I'm going to throw in two packs of cards from my personal collection, plus an autograph or relic card to kind of uh, lessen the blow of paying the extra dollars because of what eBay charges. So thank you so much. And if you're interested, check down in the description and pick up some gift cards for people on your holiday shopping list. 
Thanks, everybody.